Hello and welcome to my journey into the game industry. For all of you who don't know me, my name is Ben and I'm currently studying animation and game in Germany. So let's dive directly into the first semester. Last time we've dealt with my first impressions of the first semesters. Well, now let's talk about the first lecture series in the first semester. Technical art. Well, most of you probably don't know anything about technical art or the life as a technical artist. Well, there are probably a lot of people who know this topic far better than I am. I'm a game designer, <laughs> but I know a little bit about it because I had that lecture series. <laughs> so let's first talk about what is technical art. As a technical artist, you set or develop the framework for the technical realization of the artist's vision. So you set up the overall technical workflow and pipelines you're using, you determine which tools are best suited for the vision you want to create. You also investigate into new techniques and trying to improve on the technical implementation of uh, the artist's vision. But to put it in another phrase, as technical artists, you need to understand and master the whole 3D pipeline to bend it to your will or the designer's will and you are the tool. <laughs> so that's it for now about the theoretical side of what is tech art or what does a technical artist do. Uh, if you want to know more about it, uh, there are tons of YouTube videos, uh, read some articles, or just study animation and game. <laughs> Talking about animation and game, what did we do? As I said, as technical artists, you need to understand and master the whole 3D pipeline. And in the first semester, well, we've learned to understand the 3D pipeline. So we touched every topic from modeling to UV, unwrapping, uh, is it that? I think it's that word. Uh, <laughs> texturing, rigging, skinning, well, animating also, but that's more the design part. But we also animated uh, the character. Um, and we also brought the whole thing into Unity. We uh, did some lighting. We didn't touch shading, but that's also part of the 3D pipeline. Uh, we also didn't touch simulating, um, but we touched most of the basic topics. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm a game designer, not a technical artist. The stuff is also a year ago and I failed the first exam. No, I, I didn't fail the first exam, I failed the second one. <laughs> I, I, I did well in the first exam, actually. Hey. Editing Ben here. I've just noticed that I completely forgot telling you how we've learned the 3D pipeline. It wasn't just sitting in a lecture and learning all the theoretical stuff about modeling, rigging and so on. No, we had a little project uh, of our own. Uh, we had to make a character. Uh, some of you maybe remember the character I made from my um, how I became game designer video. Yeah, I made my scribble I designed for the application. I thought it's the time trying it out. And yeah, that's the result and how I've learned the 3D pipeline by actually modeling, texturing, rigging and bringing it into Unity. All right, so now let's get back to the video. I mentioned an exam. Yes, we had an exam. Well, like in probably every university at the end of a lecture series, you face an exam. Uh, we did as well, the uh, tech art exam. And because of Corona, uh, we didn't go, we, we didn't go to the campus. We wrote that test online. Well, it wasn't a lot of writing. It was a practical test. We touched on topics like modeling. I guess it was also rigging and skinning. 
well, we had a model, we should identify mistakes on that model because there are certain rules you need to, uh, to keep in mind when you are modeling stuff. Um, I could tell you some of the rules, but yeah, I'm a game designer. If you want to know something about TechArt, ask someone else, please. <laughs> um, yeah, we, like I said, identify the model on mistakes. Also, um, we need to wig the character and skin it that it matched a uh, specific animation. I guess that was the exam, but bear with me, it was a year ago. Maybe a little bit more. But yeah, that was the exam. Um, I wouldn't say I've nailed it. I passed. Not as the best, but I guess also not as the worst student, but yeah. To conclude this whole lecture, it was pretty cool. It is fucking awesome to see a character design, model it, bring it to life through animations, let it dance. I actually had my character dance a little bit. I'll show you, show you some stuff. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, but it's also pretty kind of physical and technical. I mean, the technical part wasn't that bad. I like programming, so I also like to work in uh, the software. But um, 3D modeling, you kind of, you need an eye uh, for perspective and also anatomics and yeah. But being theoretically able to bring a character from a piece of paper into a game engine, make it walk, make it dance, make it do some stuff. It is pretty cool. I would really like to learn more in that area, but there's so much interesting topics and you kind of you need to focus. And my focus is on game design and game development. But it's so cool. And it's also good to know some of that stuff that you can use your knowledge for designing. You always, uh, as designer, need to communicate with every department. Uh, actually, knowing what they are talking about really helps. <laughs> if you have any questions, even questions about tech art, you can ask me. Probably I'm not the best who can answer that, but I definitely know some people I could ask. So yeah, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments, write me on Insta, write me a mail, as always, contact details are in the description. And yeah, it was very interesting. I'm looking forward to tell you about the other lectures, especially design and game development. And uh, yeah, have a great day, great evening, great night, whenever you watch the video. I'm looking forward to making the next. Bye bye.